Hello, I'm Dr. Paul Larson, Professor of Pediatrics and Neurological Sciences at the University of Nebraska Medical Center. Along with Dr. Suzanne Stensis, Professor of Neuroanatomy at the University of Utah Medical Center, we have developed a neuroscience tutorial to be able to explore and to correlate the relationship of neuroanatomy with the neurological examination. We have some incredible tools to look at the brain at this point in time. We have MRI, functional MRI, PET scanning, molecular genetics, and molecular biology. Now some may say that these techniques have replaced the clinical art and science of history taking and the neurological examination, but they really haven't. These tests are an extension of what occurs in the patient examining room between a physician and a patient as the physician takes, a, uh, takes a, a history and listens to what's going on with the patient and then performs a neurological examination. Now there are many texts written about the neurological examination. So why this particular tutorial? Well, I think there's three main things that we'd like to accomplish with this tutorial. One is to be able to understand the neuroanatomy and how that correlates with the neurological examination. Number two, to have you actually have the opportunity to see a neurological examination performed and to understand the components of a neurological examination. And number three is to think with that neurological examination. How is a neurological examination put together to be, to be able to see what's going on with the patient and to start on the pathway of solving clinical problems or the problems that patients come to a physician for help? 